2023 first quarter market report. GM rebounds, Ford gains, while Toyota and Stellantis slip. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homer Guy, here today with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homer Gal. Some interesting news in this report from Automotive News, isn't there, Liz? Yes. The seasonally adjusted annualized rate, the SAR, of sales in March came in higher than forecasts at 14.8 million, LMC Automotive reported. U.S. sales at General Motors and Ford Motor Company rose in the first quarter, and Toyota Motors deliveries declined for a third straight month as the inventories are still in recovery mode following the microchip shortage. But discounts and incentives, while still low at the moment, were on the rise across much of the industry. And that's good news for new car buyers. The overall market rose 8.6% to 1.37 million cars and light trucks in March, the highest monthly tally since May 2021, LMC Automotive estimated on Tuesday, and slightly above the range of forecasts from analysts. The seasonally adjusted annualized rate of sales in March also came in higher than forecast, 13.8 million to 14.7 million. At 14.8 million, LMC said, the latest sales pace is well above the 13.67 million recorded in March 2022, but is down from January 16.21 million and February 15.19 million, signaling the market may be losing traction as the spring selling season gets underway. Volume is being driven mostly by stronger fleet, light truck shipments, and stable retail deliveries, even as higher interest rates and MSRPs, falling used vehicle prices, and tightening credit conditions sideline some new car shoppers. Monthly U.S. sales results from Volvo will be released on Wednesday, followed by quarterly reports from Mercedes-Benz and Jaguar Land Rover later in the month. So that's info still coming. GM said first quarter sales rose 18% to nearly 600,000 with volume up 16% at Chevrolet, 7.6% at GMC, 99% at Buick, and 29% at Cadillac. Overall, U.S. retail sales rose 15% and fleet volume, representing 25% of deliveries, jumped 27% last quarter, GM reported. It was the third straight quarter of strong growth for the company. The automaker said it ended the first quarter with 412,285 cars and light trucks in dealer stock or in transit, unchanged from the end of the fourth quarter. That's definitely enough in inventory list to start seeing some manufacturer discounts and rebates coming. Sure. And similar news at Ford, they rebounded from a fourth quarter 2022 decline with sales rising 10% in the latest three-month period, with Ford division volume rising 11%, but Lincoln, unable to capitalize, dropped down 1.1%. The first quarter tally was driven by a 20% jump in pickup sales and a slight gain in SUV volume. In March, Ford's sales advanced for the fourth straight month, rising 7.5% with the Ford division up 8.2%, but Lincoln down 6.9%. Ford ended March with gross stocks of around 400,000 cars and light trucks and 251,000 units in dealer stock on the ground, and down slightly from 254,000 at the close of February. Again, are you hearing those numbers? I'm hearing potential for discounts and rebates to start showing up again. Toyota, saddled with some of the industry's lowest stockpiles, said March sales dipped 9.1%, with the Toyota division off 12% and Lexus advancing 12%. We've said before that we think they are intentionally holding back. I definitely think Toyota is holding back. Well, here's a little news that ought to tick Toyota off. GM easily outsold Toyota by nearly 130,000 units during the first three months of this year. Totally. Toyota, which fell to number three in the quarter behind GM and Ford, said it ended March with 142,958 cars and light trucks in stock, with 116,108 of those units at port or in transit, equal to a 22-day supply. The Toyota division had 112,420 vehicles in inventory, and Lexus had 30,538 cars and light trucks to start April. Stellantis has been in a slump, and that continued with first quarter sales sliding 9%, behind a drop of 20% at Jeep and 7% at Ram, with volume up at two much smaller divisions, Dodge and Chrysler. Sure. The company with some of the industry's highest inventory levels, along with rising incentives, has seen U.S. sales decline seven consecutive quarters. No kidding on the incentives for Ram and Jeep. Most dealers around the country are advertising rebates now. So if you're not seeing them in your area, just broaden your search a bit. You'll find them. Jeff Comer, head of U.S. sales at Stellantis, said, 
as we continue to navigate the market conditions transpiring across the automotive industry. Together with our dealer network, we are making the necessary adjustments to meet our customers' expectations. A little surprising news, Honda Motor Company's U.S. sales also rebounded. Honda has been foot dragging like Toyota. Hyundai and Kia racked up more gains in March, setting records for the month. Back with more information on Honda sales and other automakers right after this message from our very own Mary Jo. Hello, I am Mary Jo from the Homework Guy team. Don't Kevin and Elizabeth do a great job? We are so proud of every show our team puts out, carefully researched for accuracy and designed to help car buyers just like you. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and ring the bell so you get notifications about upcoming shows. Thank you for listening. And by the way, if you haven't already noticed, check out the light pattern on our ceiling. Pretty cool, huh? Sales advanced 8% at American Honda last month, with deliveries up 8.8% at the Honda division and 2.6% at Acura. It was the automaker's second gain of the year after a 1.4% decline in February and 14% rise in January. This is good news for our Honda lovers in the audience. American Honda has been among the automakers most impacted by tight chip supplies because they're mostly sourced from inland China. The Honda brand ended March with 38,000 cars and light trucks in stock, a spokesman said, while Acura had 22,000 units on hand, with both figures up over the end of February and up sharply from a year earlier. On the downswing lately, Nissan, behind strong light truck deliveries, snapped a stretch of six straight quarterly declines with a 17% increase in the first quarter, with the Nissan division advancing 16% and Infiniti surging 40%. Well done. Volume rose 27% to 75,404 last month at Hyundai, with retail deliveries increasing 15% to 68,312. Hyundai said sales to fleet customers represented 9.4% of March volume. 9.4%? 9.4% is pretty substantial given that fleet sales almost disappeared in the last few years. Yeah. The company ended March with 53,119 cars and light trucks in U.S. inventory, down slightly from 54,156 at the close of February, but up from 17,271 a year earlier. U.S. sales advanced 20% to 71,294 at Kia, its fifth straight month of a gain of 20% or more. Kia said four models, Carnival, Sportage, Telluride, and Forte, set March records while sales of electrified models increased 10% even as deliveries of the EV6 slumped 69% to 988 from 3,156 a year earlier. Interestingly, Kia has one of the lowest day supply of vehicles across the industry and said production and availability of key utility vehicles and in-demand electrified vehicles will improve throughout the year. Subaru sales jumped 23% to 32,213 on strong light truck deliveries. Hyundai, Kia, and Subaru have now posted higher sales eight consecutive months in a row, the longest streak among mass market brands in the U.S. Not to be left out, March volume rose 5.3% at Mazda. It was a strong quarter for other luxury brands as well, with BMW and Audi posting double-digit gains. Genesis set a monthly U.S. sales record with a volume of 5,656, up 23%, its fifth straight gain on higher crossover deliveries. That's a wrap on our market update for today, friends, and thanks to all of you for joining us. If you enjoyed hearing this market update today and you want to make sure you don't miss our future shows, you need to subscribe and hit the notification bell. For our newest viewers, you can also connect with us on Facebook. If you want more in-depth information on car buying and things to watch out for, please visit our website, thehomeworkguide.com. A lot of frequently asked questions can be answered on our website. When you get there, scroll down the main page to find tons of free downloads designed to help you get through the process of buying a car without getting ripped off. Lastly, if we've helped you save time and money finding a car, consider showing us some love by leaving a tip at any of the links you can find in the description box below. You'll also see a super thanks button below the video. Thanks everyone, we appreciate you. All right, if you're new here at the Homer Guy channel, as Mary Jo said and Elizabeth just reminded you, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. Join our fast-growing group of subscribers and become a part of our YouTube family. Thanks everyone for coming back and to all of our faithful subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with the amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.